the first real sort of baby project, I suppose, that got launched on 80s Casuals was we'd had a successful period selling Fila and Aless on the back of the business film coming out. And we wanted to release Aless, but um, the company who had it at the time were, wasn't actively pursuing releases and it was sort of associated with a particular sports store that doesn't exist anymore. So the option wasn't there. We got a bit of product in the, in the firm so it was being seen worn by Bex. By 2010, we were lucky that a company who'd got the rights to sell LS in the UK decided they wanted to relaunch the brand and, and we were selected. So quite small, but like 500 per colour, we got a chance to release two track tops and two polos. And this polo worn by Bex and also the British uh, tennis team the Rimini was the first release and, and it sold out in about two or three months, which was quite a good sign. But it was pretty obvious that in being asked to launch a less, it wasn't going to be a sole brand for 80s casuals. It was going to get to more people. Um, I think the, the big advantage to a less was whilst we were going to sell track tops and polos and had with other brands, they, they've got big logo carrying styles. Uh, and, you know, we've got to the point of now selling a pink sweatshirt, but, we went through every colour of a big logo T-shirt. We had a period where we were probably one of the main sellers, maybe again 2011, 2012, kids going to Ibiza, uh, tennis shorts. So it was a much bigger mix of product and the brand sort of developed and it was becoming pretty obvious that more than just 80s casuals were gonna be selling the brand. And I say, as a, we knew that was always gonna be the case and the brand kept on supporting us with more and more releases so fresh styles start coming out this top is an example of a top that's going to be exclusively sold with some other colors these kind of colors we just keep doing because they're just become popular staple styles that are more relevant to our business than maybe someone else who is selling the more 90s look in working with Aless, we got the chance to release some made in Portugal limited products of our own. Uh, this is a, a V-Last style jacket. I've got that one myself. That's one of my favorites. Uh, I might be wearing that to a certain event soon. And we found an image of Roger Moore wearing this top round about the James Bond days. And again, a lot of lads saw it on social media. We put it up and there was a lot of interest. So. We went to a less about getting this made. It was kind of limited numbers, a little bit expensive. We're having a lot of success with a less with the big logo on rain jackets and coats as much as t-shirts. So I think more of a, a 90s, late 80s, 90s look with a half zip, which again, so we're doing a half zip tracks and we're doing half zips on Adidas, but this rain jacket with concealed hood, we know is going to be a pretty popular look for this summer. And it's going to carry on into the winter with a slight layer. A less sort of a baby of ours that's grown pretty big. And uh, it's still an important brand on 80s Casual Classics. We're here to talk about Aless jackets for the season. We've had a really good time with Aless. Uh, a brand that I really enjoy working with. They're very supportive of 80s Casuals and bringing back some classic items. This particular style was popular late 80s, 90s. And some of our customers have actually spoken about owning um, there might be some variations but it's pretty much uh, similar so a quarter zip with a flap with a less written on it um, side pockets there's a means to get in and out with a zip on the side and a zip here and um, some people are calling it like the apre ski jacket with a ski it obviously came from the ski um, these six colors at the moment there was a style in the summer in a particular fabric, but for the winter it's gone into more of an outdoors rain fabric. So we've got a burgundy, we've got a dark grey, we've got a light grey which is almost off-white, which is uh, they've been doing particularly well. Uh, royal blue, and then something a bit livelier. Again, uh, people like uh, the yellow. Um, what some people are saying is in the summer, might have just worn it with a t-shirt it comes with a mesh lining and um, yeah some people would have worn just with a t-shirt but in the winter maybe want to wear a sweat i'm actually wearing this 
quite snug. It's a medium, and a, it's kind of how I'd probably wear a jacket, but some people might want to wear a large, and I'm going to show you what a large looks like as well. So this is me with the large size. Uh, just zip up. It's a, it's a bit bigger, but I, I don't think... Uh, there's definitely a lot of people who seem to want to go with this size. So again, uh, just imagine that's just one size bigger. There's, there's not a lot in it, so... If you're in any doubt about sizing, I think it's pretty safe to say you go a size up, so that's me wearing a large. Another great Aless jacket is the Aless padded Lombardi jacket, puffer jacket, bubble jacket, 80s kind of 90s name. Um, we've got a few colours. This one is the graphite grey. They come in a range sort of between 60 and 70 pounds, but this is a medium and give you an idea of how it fits. The um, I'll get my hand around the right way. So that's a medium graphite grey and it uh, comes with pockets. But it's just a good winter weight coat. So the colours, it comes in a navy, a new sort of red colour, um, black. And there's also a slight difference, a ski puffer style one, which kind of more for the retro lads, but that's really popular as well, and that's probably about ten pounds more. But say so it's uh, it's definitely one of the best value jackets on the Avis Casuals, and I'm particularly keen on this one myself. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Leave your comments, and tune in for future videos.